uh, you've used the term global jihadist movement and thus identified the global jihadist movement as the focus of America's fight against terrorism. Isn't it a fact that the global jihadist movement is very closely linked to the teachings of Wahhabism? Um, yes yeah, or no? Yeah, I would say they draw inspiration in a, in a perverted sense. But yes, I would say, and Robert may want to elaborate on that. And, but and the, two, the two big jih global jihadists are Al-Qaeda and ISIL. And they draw their inspiration from the Wahhabi uh, strain of Islam, isn't that correct? Yes. And uh, the Wahhabism is a 18th century offshoot of Sunni Islam, which began in the land uh, that has come to be known as Saudi Arabia, isn't that correct? And Wahhabism seeks to purify Islam by getting rid of a number of human behaviors and practices that it considers to be sins against uh, uh, Allah. Correct? Uh, correct. And uh, Wahhabism is a strict, fundamentalist, highly intolerant strain of Islam. Correct? Yeah. Correct? And uh, now, isn't it a fact that the Saudi ruling monarchy derives its legitimacy by reliance on the ideology of Wahhabism? Mm. You want to? The Saudis are riding a tiger. The, the Saudis are riding a tiger. So, uh, so if you will answer you know, what, I'm question, saying, what I'm saying, don't, isn't it a fact? No, it's a, I wouldn't put it that way. I would say it's not a fact that they depend solely on Wahhabism for their legitimacy. They derive the legitimacy from a variety of things. One of them is Wahhabism, but it is not the only one. Well, is it fair to say that Wahhabism is the state-sponsored religion of Saudi Arabia? Yes, the Saudi government sanctions Wahhabi imams in their major mosques. Well, as a matter of fact, the Saudi monarchy promotes Wahhabism through official state-sponsored mosques and through religious schools known as madrasas all over the world. Isn't that correct? Yes. And isn't it true 